So when you were making that shift, were there some things that you needed to overcome to make this a reality for yourself? Um, yes, because I didn't want to borrow money to start the store. Okay. Wow. That so is admirable. I could have, mm -hmm. but I didn't want <laughs> More to you, risk yeah, lend debt <laughs> yeah. for the store, right? Yeah. So I started out on the side, just selling a little bit at a mm -hmm. time and just yeah. putting it back in while doing the loans mm -hmm. and then growing it until mm -hmm. I had a whole yeah. ton of stuff. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I can open the store now and I have enough inventory. And even when I started the store, yeah. half the store was full and the other half was mm -hmm. just empty. Mm -hmm. I love this so much. I know. It's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just starting from mm -hmm. what you could do in mm -hmm. the moment, right? Right. And then building it to something that just has been fulfilling in your life. Right. Oh, I think so many people, though, get stuck in the more, not, and I don't mean mortgage lending. I don't no, mean no, no, that. No. But and so many people get stuck in their nine to five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they've yeah. got this passion mm -hmm. to do other things with it, but they never mm -hmm. act on that passion. My dad was one of these people. Exactly. It's so true. And uh, so yeah. worked in a factory nine to five, put food on the table, had insurance. And that was his world. Mm -hmm. and But there's this creative energy that you are willing to say, all right, I'm going to work my nine to five. Or actually, mortgage lending is not usually nine to five. It's usually nine to nine. <laughs> you weekends. And yes, yes, yes. Um, but then you start your side hustle to, to fuel your passion until your passion exceeded mm -hmm. what you needed from mm -hmm. your nine to five. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Genius level yeah. stuff. It is. Yeah.